Hi you guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. I never thought that I would ever say this in my life, but well, I guess it has come to this. Uh, we are going to Anantar Chilo and I've always wanted to go there. Um, I've always wanted to get away, so I got a couple of days off of work, so you know what? We're going to Anantar Chilo. <laughs> so uh, I'm getting ready, we're gonna do you know bed. I had a bath, I need to go dry my hair, so let's get to it. Cue montage. <laughs> This is my OOTD. Um, I have a little anklet situation going on here, and um, I love this dress. This is from um, Cotton Collection. So, um, let's get ready and let's go. Say bye. <laughs> As you guys can see, we are going in our car. My dad is in the front seat, he's driving. My mom's next to him and I'm at the back seat as usual. And Anantha Chila, here we come. When I was editing the video, that was when I realized that I have not taken a single picture or video of the food that I was taking throughout the trip and I'm so sorry guys, but at least the views are great, right? Shortly afterwards, it was time for lunch and I wasn't in a mood to eat anything because I was already full with my breakfast. So I ended up taking this for Luda and guys, I don't know whether it was just a trip thing, but it was amazing. One of my favorite things about traveling is that you get to see so much of things and ever since I was a kid I was always eager to see what was around me and tripping was the way that made my soul really full. Um, I'd love to see how different people live their lives, how different um, monuments are. It's really nice to see something more than what you're used to and it's just really calming. Like look at this lake right now, it is amazing. Finally, after what seemed like forever, we passed the first board of Ananthe and we finally came into the road in which the hotel is located at. Uh, it was about 80 plus kilometers from Colombo and as you guys can see, um, we passed a couple of prawn uh, breeding areas, I don't know what to call it. And you can see it is a developing area, a lot of potential in the little city. Um, and to get into the hotel, you have to pass this bridge. That's the only way into that area. So it's a land which is covered by the lagoon in one side and the sea in the other. Um, it makes itself like a little island, which is really cool. And finally, guys, we are here at the hotel. As soon as we got in, uh, our temperatures were checked to see if we were COVID safe, guys. They really practice proper safety procedures, so you guys have nothing to worry about. And then we were checked in and taken to our room. So we are here and let me take you on our room tour. So we are in room number 124, it's a deluxe, so let me take you on a room tour. This is a room that's my cat. <laughs> and this is a welcome drink for my mom. Guys, this is the bedroom. So we have a TV. This is fully air conditioned. 
This is like the whole um, bed situation. Guys, the bathroom is the best. We have a tub which can be a jacuzzi too, so just look at that. It's just so nice. We have a sink, a bathing area, and of course the toilet. Um, guys, this is a really big bathroom. It's so nice. And let me take you out to see the view. Guys, we have the sea view. This is like the middle building and uh, it's just heavy. It's so pretty. Like, take a look at that view. Like, I mean, look at the pool. Shortly after taking these shots for you guys, I did a couple of boomerangs on my Insta story and did a TikTok. You guys can check that out in my Instagram. I went down to the pool and had a swim. Um, this is me swimming my mom had taken. I had no idea. And this is me in the pool in my element. And guys, look at that sunset. We went to the beach. It is so strong. The currents are like really strong and it is not okay. Um, I had a swim, which is great. My parents are Like bad quality, but then we just gotta work with what we got, guys. Because yeah, it's kind of awkward, and people are looking. There's a lot of kids, and I don't want to be that person who's like recording everything. So I will be sharing some pictures of the food. I couldn't take anything last night because it was like pretty dark. They had a little case of like some flies, so they just had it a bit dark. But today I will be sharing with you guys some. Uh, This is the entrance to the spas and the villas for the hotel and as you guys can see we need to sanitize ourselves before we get into the area. The spas are not in operation right now due to the COVID um, precautions but however we could still walk around because it's a really nice area and um, it's a good place to take pictures and just to walk in the sun. Um, as you guys can see this is made in the lagoon which means that the entire structure is built on top of water. It's not deep, it's only 4 meters I guess but it's a really really nice area. The villas and the spa are located right behind the formal buildings of the hotel and as you guys can see it's a really nice area, there's so much of serenity in it and it's just really breathtaking. After having a look at the villas we went back to the main grassy area where the pools are just to walk around the hotels because it was so pretty. Um, this is their bar um, and as you guys can see um, it is an open bar which means you can have the waves of the pool and the ocean while you're having a drink. Um, it's a really nice place and during the night um, we saw a couple of guys singing so I guess you could do anything that you like. You can bring in your own musical instruments and have a good time with your friends and family. After wandering about the hotel for a while, it was finally time for us to pack up and leave the hotel because our checkout time was nearing. Um, so after these shots, we went back, had a wash changed, had a lunch and said bye to the hotel.
anyway, it's the next day. Um, I am back at home as you guys can see. Um, sorry, it was uh, really tiring after coming all the way from Chilla. So I just had to unpack my stuff and I slept. So um, I woke up today and I was just thinking about the entire trip. Um, it was the first time I went to Chilla and honestly, um, Sri Lanka has a lot to offer and I feel like most of us, we just take it for granted. We don't travel enough to see how much this country has to offer. It might be a beach, but it's about the community around it, the stories behind the places that the hotels are built, stuff like that that really um, makes you appreciate things a lot more than you're supposed to. So uh, we went to Anantara Chilla. It was in a little island kind of place. It That was like a lagoon and the sea so it was like a land area in the middle of it so uh, there was also like a little community of around 44 families um, a little bit uh, far from where the hotel was and most of them were fishermen so uh, it was really nice to see how um, some of the people were recruited from the area so it was like a lot of locals so uh, the, like traveling and things were easy for them yeah and most importantly like talking about the hotel i really love the ambience the people the food it was amazing guys like i'm very picky when it comes to food here um you can see that there was like a good range of food for like everyone it was really nice so we stayed for dinner um, breakfast and lunch and nothing was like repeated which is really nice to see because um, some restaurants like they they tend to repeat a lot of the food but I did not see anything like that there was always something new to look forward to and that was really nice that's one thing I really love about traveling that you can explore and you just get to know something more than what you already know there's so much this world has to offer so much your country has to offer and that's one of the main things that I love about traveling and it just makes me so happy seeing that we are a part of something bigger than what we think we are and um, it's like widening your horizons of what you've already known so that is really nice it was such a nice experience guys like I loved it there was so much to like walk around and see it was such a nice view um, there were a lot of little kids out there, it was the sweetest thing to see them were like pool floaties and the parents trying to like make sure that they are not in like the deep end where they couldn't like reach. It was a really nice experience and I really enjoyed it and that's the end of this vlog guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, I will be posting more videos as and when like I get content so this is just the start and if you guys are still watching this it means a lot to me. Um, so I guess I can say hit that thumbs up button and um, subscribe to my channel and let's see where this YouTube journey of mine takes us. So bye!